Bum, ba, 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 Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about my brand new Prada Crystal Re-Edition Bag in the Lilac. I make videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. <laughs> Okay guys, I have a new bag to share with you. And this is my new Prada Crystal bag. I didn't do a proper unboxing, I was way too excited guys. This bag I wanted to get last year, I wasn't able to find it in this color. I had from my wish list that if you had seen that I really wanted to try to get one of these crystal bags, guys. I wanted to wait also just to see how they wore, people's reviews, and they were good on this bag, guys. So I purchased it. I do have the proper unboxing. I did film it as I was doing it. I did unveil this bag already on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you should because I have no patience and I just share it with all my besties on there. And we do fun stories where I just tell you all the drama and craziness that has happened to me. But this bag right here, I was able to get from Saks Fifth Avenue. I do have a sales associate that is there. I will link her information down below. This is one of those times where these particular bags that you saw from my video, you know, what pre-loved, what do you prefer to purchase? And this is a bag because it is a popular bag from Prada that you really need to purchase this one new in stores. It is harder to get. That's why you want to get yourself a sales associate, someone you have a relationship with. And she had released that she was be she was taking pre-orders for the black version of this with the white crystals. And I just reached out to her and I said, because I'd already reached out to my Bloomingdale's associate and I asked like, hey, are you going to get any of this color in in the spring? I love that lilac color. Let me know if you can get it. And she couldn't pre-order it and she tried. So then I went to my sales associate at Saks Fifth Avenue and I asked her, she goes, well, let me see if I can find it. And I, what I do with her, which I do with my, all my sales associate, when I've made my decision that I'm ready to get a bag, I make sure to send them my credit card information, my address, all that stuff so they can just purchase them. Like if you can find it, you don't need to wait to hear from me to say yes or no just purchase it. And I got a message from her that just showed my receipts. <laughs> She's like, okay, here you go. And I'm like, what? She was able to find this bag for me guys, because I really recommend for brands and stuff that you're trying to find brand new to try like Saks Fifth Avenue instead of the actual Prada stores, try Bloomingdale's because they have so many stores all over the country, all over the US, all over the world that they can just check their database, see if there's one in the warehouse, see if there's one in another store and they can get it sent to you guys. Like that's the power of buying from a department store, especially for brands like this. Even, even my Louis Vuitton, I usually buy it from my Bloomingdale's Associates, my Chanel and Fendi, I usually buy from my Saks Fifth Avenue sales associates. They can send things to you and they have a huge inventory from all over. And I just feel like the experience is so much better. And you can buy more than one brand at one time. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. So let's talk about this bag right now. I know I'm practically blinding you with this beautifulness. So this bag is a, it has, it's a satin bag that has crystals all like sewn in to this bag. It retails for just under $2,000. And I feel like it's worth that guys. The work that went into this bag, these aren't glued on here. If you look in the close up here, that you can see that they're literally like in boss, like they are put in there very, very well. It's gonna be super hard for them to come out, guys. They're not glued in, they're actually sewed in and secured very, very well in the bag. Something else I notice about this bag, it's pretty structured. I have my re-edition, I think 2005, the one that has the strap and everything with it, with the chain. It is not structured. It's the nylon version where this is satin, but this bag has structure because 
of all the work that's in here. So see how it just sits up flat and this has nothing in it. Whereas the other version that's just a nylon does not have any structure. So this bag really looks beautiful and you can see the gorgeous shape that is this kind of hobo style. I really love you have the re-edition 2000 right here. And this is in the Safiana leather. That's really the only leather that is on this bag along with the zipper pool right here. You have the nice uh, strap here, which is also like a satin type material. Open it up and the inside is the one thing I am nervous about is that it's all satin. You just have your Prada in there and this is all satin. And I am a little nervous about getting the inside dirty. You know, it's something I'm concerned about. However, it is the inside of the bag. I'm not necessarily concerned about the outside of the bag getting dirty just because you have these rhinestones and that's what the bag sits on. Obviously, I'm not gonna just like set this bag down anywhere. However, I do, that's just something that I am concerned about. However, it is the inside of the bag. Zipper is really nice and easy to carry this bag, guys. It is just so comfortable just to carry like in the, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the sparkles. Just to carry in the crook of your arm and then just to carry it like this, like look how stinking cute that is. Super comfortable to carry it and just having it like poke out. I can do like the, the proper Prada pose. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm crazy. But most of the time when I was wearing it, I just kind of just threw it like this. When I went out, I had it with like a denim jacket. I feel like this style bag is something that can be worn dressed up, dressed down. I just, as long as it's not raining, this isn't a bag I'm gonna take out in the rain just because of the satin and silk elements of it, I am just a little concerned. Again, this is a harder bag to get. However, it's not impossible. So let's go over the dimensions. So the width of this bag is nine inches. The height of the bag is six inches. The depth of the bag is about two and a half inches. And your handle draw is seven inches, which I feel like is just such a comfortable to just tuck underneath your shoulder and it's tucked in tight. It is not in your armpit. However, it is close to your armpit. So if you had like a poofier jacket or sweater. It might like gather there. It's so comfortable just to grab. It's super light and comfortable bag. Just the strap feels good, everything. I will carry it on my shoulder, but most of the time I'm just gonna be carrying this in the crook of my arm or top handle. This bag fits a decent amount of things. I was able to fit all my necessities in it. So let's put them in. First things first, we're gonna put our mini pochette. You just slides right in, right there. Super easy to put that in. Card case, keys, my clay, and my fabulous mask that I just have just in case. And then we zip it up. There you go. I don't think, I guess there's might be a little bit of distorting this in there, but, but not really. I think it opens up really, really nicely fits all of my items that I need, even with this shape and it up. And here you see everything that I have in there, zip pouch, and I still have room. I could definitely put in some lipstick. I could put in a larger wallet. I just don't carry a larger wallet. You can definitely fit all the necessities and more that you need in this bag right here. So, I wanted to kind of give you my thoughts. Do I think it's worth it? Because this is an expensive bag, obviously not as expensive as like Louis Vuitton and like Chanel and stuff. It's under $2,000, but it is a non leather bag, right? I really feel like it is worth that price. There is a lot of detail that's done in this and I don't feel like these are gonna fall off. I'm not nervous about this bag. However, I'm gonna be careful with what I wear it. I wanna make sure it's not someplace that I would set it down, like I wouldn't take it to an outing that I was outside in. I wouldn't take it out in the rain. There is some precautions that I'm gonna take for this particular bag. However, I don't think it's super delicate where I have to worry about like setting on the table or grabbing it and pulling it. I don't feel like I have to be like gingerly with it and worry about the crystals coming out. I do feel like it's worth that price. And again, I do think that this particular bag fits an amazing amount. So if you can find this bag in the nylon version, that is under a thousand dollars. I'm considering because I like this style bag so much to get the nylon version of this type of bag in a fun color, like in maybe the yellow or a pink, something I'm thinking about because it is under a thousand dollars. The nylon from Prada is such 
great quality, easy to clean. You just wipe it off. You don't have to worry about it. You can take it out in the elements. So yeah, guys, I really recommend <laughs> this bag. If you love sparkles, like I had like a handbag gasm whenever I opened this up, but I literally went to handbag heaven, right? Like I opened that up and I just was like speechless. I just was looking at it and I'm still like, I get distracted by it. Like anything that glitters, I get distracted by it. And purple, especially lavender is my favorite color. I absolutely love it. It's super gorgeous and I recommend it. It gets the Jessica like five thumbs up approval. Okay guys, that is everything. Let me know what you think of this bag. Is it on your wish list? Do you have it? Is it too much? Is it just too high maintenance for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Did I blind you? I'm concerned for you. Are you okay? Just put on some fabulous sunnies and you'll be fine. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.